ICCAC members, we have anxiously been waiting for this day for months now. Our staff has been working endlessly, getting the club ready just for you to come back. We have missed you so much. The governor has given us orders that we can open our doors on Monday, May 18th, and we are so excited to do so. There are going to be a few changes that I do want to talk to you about just so you can be ready and prepared for the day to come on in and we'll welcome you. So since we're an athletic club, we're not going to call it six foot social distancing. We're referring it to six foot social fitnessing. I thought you'd like that. So we've designated the entrance on the Nodding Pine side of the building and the exit is going to be on the airline side. So let's come on into our club. Okay, so we want to welcome you at our front desk and unfortunately we're not going to be able to do it personally and take your keys like we used to. We're going to give you the ability to self-check yourself in and unfortunately at this time you're going to have to put your keys in your pocket because we're not able to keep keys for you while you work out. At this time you will be able to go ahead and pick up your own personal glove. We do want to let you know if you have your own gloves, please bring your own but if you do forget them or you don't have your own we are going to provide them again that's one of Govern Abbott's guidelines. This is our fitness desk check-in what we're asking to do is that you pick up a bottle um, and a, a small towel and what we are going to ask you to do is to please wipe off every piece of equipment prior to using and after use. We are going to have some videos on our Easy Ad showing techniques of how to clean the different equipment. This is everybody's responsibility. We want to keep everybody safe so please practice good etiquette by cleaning your equipment prior to use and after use. After your workout you can return your used towel in our used towel bin and you can return the disinfect bottle in the disinfect towel bin as well. Now we are not going to be providing mats anymore because this is for your safety so we have disinfected our, our staff has been working so hard while we were closed. We've disinfected every mat and we are selling the mat for five dollars. You can see any employee to purchase a mat and we do encourage you to bring your own mat but remember disinfect it prior to using and when you're done. So as you know, Governor Abbott has issued us to close down our locker rooms and I know some of y'all have clothes in your lockers, so we're going to help you have access just to get your clothes out of the lockers. Um, we will be keeping those lockers for you, so if you have shelving or anything, you let that in there and it will be ready for you when we can open up the locker room. If you don't want your clothing that is in there, then you can just let it there, but if you need it to work out, we've got got this station here in our lobby. You can come here, bring your own bag, and we will escort you in so you can get your stuff out of the locker. So let's go get our stuff. And as I said, if you have shelving or anything in your locker, we are not going to reissue these lockers. This locker is going to be yours so you can keep any of your belongings in here that you want. And as soon as, as the locker room can be open, you can bring your stuff back and be able to use the locker room areas in the aquatics area is going to be open we just ask that you do and continue to keep the six foot social fitnessing. We do have the family fitness restroom available. Please do, as a courtesy to other members, don't use that as a changing room. And we ask just families only. And also please make sure you don't use that, the lockers and the shower area in there. We are also gonna continue to have our uh, group exercise classes. It's gonna be 30 minutes and we are going to close the rec pool like we normally do during those classes. It is extremely important that you rinse off before entering any bodies of water in the aquatics area. 
we are ready for you. Um, we have marked off every other piece of equipment so that you get the six foot fitness thing. We've done that with our circuit training and all of our cardio. At night, we are going to rotate it so that every other day you will get to use every other piece of equipment. So we are looking forward to having you in here. Check out our Facebook page and our website to get updated schedule on which piece of equipment is available on which days. A few things have changed here as well. The entrance door is going to be by the elevator and the exit door is behind me by the offices. The classes are still going to be 55 minutes. You're going to notice squares and that's where you need to keep your personal belongings and you can still sign up online. However, we are not going to be providing the straps for your safety, but we will be selling the straps for $30 and you will bring your own strap. Now things are going to be a little bit different for the safety of the children. We are asking that the parents can bring the children 15 minutes before the hour. We are going to watch the children from the hour to 45 minutes and then you'll be able to come pick them up. We are limiting it for the children's safety for four years of age and older. And we cannot allow the parents in the club. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the children's temperature Temperature. We're going to bring the children in, we're going to escort them over to the sink and we're going to wash their hands. After that we have six foot distancing and we have the blocks that the children will sit in and we are going to do arts and crafts, we're going to do story time, we're going to have movie time, we're going to do anything we can to entertain your kids but unfortunately they're going to have to stay in the squares. But don't worry, our employees have a lot of fun stuff planned for the kids so we won't even realize that they're staying put in the square. We have missed our kids so much. Now there are a few guidelines that we've put in place for the safety of the children. The children and the parents will check in in the hall by gymnastics and we will bring the kids in and we will safely um, seat them six feet distancing. At the end of each class, if the parents are sitting up in the observation deck, we ask that you exit five minutes prior to the end of class and you go out the gymnastics door, walk down the sidewalk by Kids Club, and you'll see the exit door in the back of the gym. That's where we'll have the kids to exit and you can pick up the children out there. Unfortunately, we know the kids love playing in the foam pit, but there's no way we can properly clean that so we are going to have the foam pit off limits until further notice. We know our members are ready to get their cardio in so we've made the track safe for you. We are going to block out the middle lane with the cones so the inside lane is going to be walking and the outside is going to be running and jogging. You can use the inside lane for passing but we just ask that you look behind you to make sure for safety purposes that you're passing and you're staying six feet away from each other. Are you ready to get back into group exercise? Well, we're ready to have you. What we're going to do to ensure your safety is we are going to have an attendant at the door and they are going to issue you the different squares that you will remain in during the class. The classes are going to be 30 minutes because we took into consideration that we all are going to be a little bit out of shape. So we want to start slow and slowly build up for your safety. And we are going to close the room after each class and we are going to thoroughly cleanse and sanitize the class. We are going to go ahead and put up the equipment for you and sanitize it as well. Can't wait to see you in class. How about a healthy shake or a healthy bar? We are so excited to introduce Hemisphere Cafe, a new part of our club. And you can even charge to your membership account.